Ch -ch -ch yeah. Oh, wait. That's the wrong intro. <laughs> All right, welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. In today's video, what I want to actually do is I want to provide some encouragement for those of you who are in fear of losing your life. No, well, life not necessarily, but you're in fear if you're in the web design and development profession, you think that you're going to lose your job or there's not going to be any work available for you. You're going to be taken over uh, by automation because it's things such as Wix, Squarespace, uh, Weebly, all these self-help, self-design websites just popping up everywhere. They're just getting people to just DIY it all day long. And I'm here to tell you that that is simply not the case at all. These things are merely just tools. That is it. Once you get to understand that, the, these things will actually make your life a whole lot easier. And I'm going to actually show you a big example here. But first, what you actually see on the screen, I'm using screencast Omatic to record, make this recording, to bring documented videos to you when I want to document my coding process. As you can see, I'm using the end screen and the, the other screen here. I'm actually in the process of becoming an affiliate for screencast somatic i am not i am not yet but i am still going to leave a link in this video i use this software this online software all the time to make these screen recordings so i highly recommend that you get it it's only 18 dollars a year that's how much i pay for it it may even be more of a discount once i actually get you to i become an affiliate and i can actually offer that discount if possible but we'll see about it i don't think 18 dollars. I, I think that's a really good steal for you to really get this software because it's very beneficial to me but in any case what i'm going to actually show you is i'm going to show you like two tools that i'm actually using first and that's going to be wordpress all right so on this website i've actually used wordpress to build a very simple informational website for some people let me actually refresh this come and show you the animation features that i added to this this top video here was actually made in with the content that they provided for me, it was made in iMovie, so no problems there. Here we have big text for their top part, founders, and everything just comes down here. I hope you guys like this kind of like skyline bottom image that I actually added to the, to the very bottom here. And actually down here also as well, we have the footer. Now, another thing that I try to really preach about is, is people getting or web developers trying to negotiate for web space. Even if the client can't afford to pay you directly or not, you want to always try to get some sort of like web real estate on their website so you can kind of leave your brand, your mark. And here I use a little method that I learned to retail called striping. So when you set a, a thing of hamburger buns next to a thing of ketchup, of course, it's going to relate to like, oh, I'm. Not only do I need hamburger buns, but I also need some ketchup to go on these ham the hamburgers I'm about to fix. Same sort of logic here. I basically have my DLJ Works website image here. Also with powerful hosting. I am an affiliate for justtoes.com. That's the only hosting brand I actually use. I actually um actually this this client actually already had a hosting company They're through GoDaddy, but they have allowed me to actually put my Just Host brand here as well so they can actually see that. You know, when people come on here, their their audience, they can actually see where they can actually get hosting as well. So this is a very simple website. They have an about us. Very just informational. All right, just the facts. And that is pretty much going to be it. This was just actually done in WordPress. They was they were already using WordPress. The developer the developer they had wasn't really familiar with WordPress, and that's where I came into the picture because I do have um, some extensive experience with using WordPress. And this being a very simple website, um, that I was able to actually do this. Now, before I actually show you the Weebly website that I'm actually doing, I let me just go ahead and say this, okay? For those of you who are the religious zealots about programming the the artists like oh i'm an artist i'm not going to use a, a template or do any of that. i'm gonna do everything from scratch look i already been down that road all right and i made my life a lot harder on me because i'm trying i was trying to be that that purist that programming purist and try to do everything from scratch i wanted to be this originator and i was just making things harder for me and that that's not the case at all if you want to get quick money 
you need to put all that stuff to the side make this very simple for you get very easy money learn these little simple tools understand what your clients want understand their purpose this is why soft skills are being preached a lot right now in the, in the programming community because a lot of people a lot of people that, that are actually web designers and developers they become these these pragmatists in terms of not using these templates those sorts of things you're not a real program or a coder if you're using a template or whatever the case may be and I'm, I'm here to tell you whatever gets the job done that's what you want to use if you can talk to your client and understand it and develop a level of empathy and understand what they want and be able to convey that to them and and pick their brain basically take whatever is inside of their brain and manifest it into real life not only would it make their job easier and they'll love you for it but it's gonna make your job easier as well because now you know what they need and you see that they don't have all these deep programming and coding needs and you could use a simple Wix website or something like that for the person that's trying to start a blog or even a small mom and pop shop that wants to start a restaurant and they're not even taking orders online like you can use these things so don't be such a purist and, and pigeonhole yourself for making some very easy money make these things easy for you also when you're doing web when you're doing websites you want to offer different things what well, well this is just some advice all right depending on what your goals are um, eventually you want to probably if you're trying to become a serious web designer developer or even just trying to get deep into the coding side you want to get deep into HTML CSS and JavaScript and actually know those things because you're going to have to build pieces and components but if you're freelancing you have no ambitions on getting a job you have no goals on um, you you're, you just want to stay independent forever you just want to just do this freelancing thing all day long then you want to learn these several tools because it's gonna make your job easier what I actually do because I have to make videos I have to do audio recordings all these things I'm actually offering different services outside of web design development graphic design I'm actually offering a thing called media and content conversion while I actually provide written because I have very good written skills at least I like to think so and for making all the YouTube videos that I've done these you know thumbnails writing text writing blog articles I can be I offer ghost writing services audio editing convert you know whatever audio into video content being able to take stock images and add audio to it add voice narration to it and make it into a video for people these are things that you can actually offer and extend beyond your web design development expertise Okay, so I want to just kind of throw that out there that you don't have to just be stuck with just doing straight coding. If you're freelancing, if you're trying to get a job, then that's a totally different thing. And maybe you want to master the craft and just specialize in maybe one particular programming area, maybe just such as JavaScript or even CSS, because CSS is becoming even more advanced, kind of acting as this pseudo, you know, serious programming language right now with adding variables and SAS and that sort of thing. All right, so I want to actually show you the Weebly website that I'm actually using. I'm actually using Weebly for a person. They um they didn't know how to actually use Weebly, and because you have I have this general web design development knowledge and expertise, it kind of carries over into using these other tools, which you have to understand too. That's what's going to happen because and that's, uh, building a website isn't just about strictly coding all the time. It, that's just actually one piece. And it, it, it's a big piece, but it's not the biggest piece. The biggest thing is with doing a website is understand the information hierarchy, um, the psychology based on what that person's audience wants, and trying to make sure that their website is serving a purpose such as are we doing customer conversions with this? What are we trying to actually do with this website? And right now on this, this website, this person is just trying to actually get an auction off. Um, she has limited access to Weebly, so I have to kind of use my creativity as a web designer and kind of figure out, well, how are people going to input their bids on this because we're, we're not able to, I'm not able to right now do a form function where they could just input like a, a actual amount, it'll post immediately, and then Weebly because unless you have paid access, they won't actually let you do the they won't actually let you add multiple comments so I had to go to like a HTML comment box and shout out to them because they made this available so I had to pretty much go to this website 
and copy code for comments here all right so and that's all I pretty much did so let me go back over here let me go to menu so I'm gonna continue creating pages I'm still this is still a work in progress but basically when our uh, people are ready to bid on an actual item here I took the comment HTML comment box here did a drag and drop embed element on the Weebly website so people could put their names they could put their bids for this and people can continuously comment and the most recent comment I believe was show at the top and with the highest bid and that's what I kind of figured out for this person's website in order to achieve what they were looking for for this silent auction online so that's that's what this is about that that's that, this is what the whole purpose of this video is is right now I just wanted to actually make a really quick video and not so quick because we're at 10 minutes and 51 seconds but I wanted to provide some encouragement by actually showing you that I'm using multiple tools uh, Weebly WordPress I did a Wix website I think as I mentioned before but there something happened to their website it's not available so I can't really show you that but you have to get familiar with using multiple tools and understand what your consumer what your clients want so you can better help them and you're not stressing yourself out and that these tools are not here to take over your job but more so enrich and simplify things so you can get the job done for them and just because they're advertised I need to address this too just because they're advertising on like Wix Squarespace Weebly they're advertising on YouTube wherever else on other social media that you can build your own website using this that may very well be the case but everybody doesn't have the web design and development chops to build an effective website you know so even if they do just drag and drop it do they understand the why why they're placing these elements here so a web designer still is gonna have to come into place in terms of using these tools to build effective websites and to accomplish the single focus goal that that client wants to accomplish all right that's going to be it for this video I talked enough talked a lot so leave a comment below if there's anything I said that was confusing. Let's have a discussion below. DLJ Works, thank you again for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. God bless y'all.